Today I'm going to report the RPT number 14's problem, looping pendulum. This is a problem statement. Connect two loads, one heavy and one light, with a spring with a spring over a horizontal rod and lift up the heavy load by pulling down the light one. Release the load and it will sweep around the load, keeping heavy load from falling to the ground. Investigate the problem. This is my table. The first is a preliminary experiment. The second is serial analysis. And the third is experiment analysis. The fourth is error analysis. And the final one is co my conclusion. This is a video of our preliminary experiment. We can see that the motion has two parts. The first part is uh, having its acceleration. And the second part is a have is a heavy object stay rest and the left one can be rotating like this. <coughs> and actually this motion, its rotation is a two-dimensional rotation. If we try to control the light object and the heavy object in the same plane, we'll have this kind of failure. We can see the light object will hit the heavy object. So actually, the rotation is like this. And this is a two-dimensional rotation. But since in experiment, we only move the light object a little away from the plane where the object's heavy object stay. So we can regard it as a wide-dimensional rotation. We built our theory based on the video before. And the light object have an omega here. And according to the, and the angular momentum of the light object is that and it have a uh, acceleration upward and as the r decrease omega will increase and the centripetal acceleration will increase leading to the t increase and the heavy object will stop but this equation can only help us to analyze this motion qualitatively so we build a more complex uh, more complex model introduce another friction the friction over the road according to the Euler and Elsewhere equation. And this model can help us analyze this motion quantitatively. And for the light object, it has an initial widening angle, theta. And for the heavy object, it has a tension upward and a gravity downward. And it will also have acceleration upward. So that we can have this equation of the heavy object. And the first term is the real friction around the, road, around the pole. And also, the distance between the left object and the rod is L. And L is set. And if we take the at a, normal, a normal direction, we take the downward as a positive direction. And for the left object, it has a tension upward and a component of gravity downward. And also, it has an acceleration downward and a centripetal acceleration upward. So we can list the equation like that. And we subside the t here, we can have this equation. And on the tangent, on the tangent uh, direction, we take this axis, we take this direction as a positive direction. And it will have the component of the uh, of the gravity and also the Colorado's acceleration and the tangent acceleration. But all the series we, we built before is based on the light rotation is rotate about a fixed point, but actually it's rotate about a non-fixed point. So we need to correct the equation and it will change from this to this. And this term is our correction. <coughs> because this equation side is a multivariable differential equation set, so we cannot find a function to express theta or express the r. And we can only find the valid answer of the, this equation set. And we use Mathematica to use iteration to find the value answer of this equation. And this is our boundary condition. And this is our, this is a video of our experiment. And this is a protractor for us to control the releasing angle. And this is an error support. And this is a heavy object, and this is a light object, and this is and the light object is bound by the rubber band on a, on another aerosol. 
and we will see the to cut the, the rubber band to release the light object. <coughs> and according to our equation, we can find that we need to find all these five things, for all these five values, to solve our equation. And first, we use projector to control the releasing angle, and we use the <coughs> diameter to help us make sure that the uh, the projector is always horizontal to the ground. And also, we draw the mark on the string to control the releasing uh, control the releasing string length. And also to find the to to uh, measure the, ma the mass of the light object and the heavy object more accurately, we weigh the 15 dots at the same time. And the total mass of it, of it is 452 grams. And to help check her to track the motion of heavy object of light object better, we made a mark on it. And to find and to find the friction coefficient, release the light object vertically. And use track to find the aspiration of the light object. And according and according to these two equations, we can find the the, co the friction coefficient mu is equal to zero point one six six. And in our experiment, we change the resistance angle from thirty degrees to ninety degrees. And also, we change the resistance string length from ten centimeters to fifty centimeters. And this is our form of data, and this is our relative error. According to data, we can find that as the string length increases, the time needed increases. And because because when the as the string length increases, the angular velocity decreases, and the friction increases more slowly, so that it will be it needs more time for the heavy object to stop. And also, we find that when the string length is ten centimeters. All experiments failed. That means that the heavy object cannot stop when the strain length is 10 centimeters. And because when the when the strain length is very short, the shorter strain will lead to the shorter time for object to stop. And so that the friction will be not big enough for the heavy object to stop. And also we can see that the time needed cannot be expressed by any function. Because L is an associated variable. It can it will affect the beta and error. And all, beta and error will affect the V and omega. And all these four terms will affect the final stop angle. And we also find that all the angle is normal than all the winding angle is normal than 360 degrees. Because according to the equation, we can see that the friction is increased exponentially as the winding angle increases. Also, we explored the data from the tracker and we found that the heavy object is not all the way moves down. It will be fluctuated at a certain point. And we explored the data from mass benchmark. We found that sometimes the velocity is, is positive so that it shows the fluctuation of the heavy object. And this part is beyond the domain because in this part, the object's gravity is larger than the friction. But in our, function, in our equation, the premise of the equation is that the object gravity is smaller than the friction. Also, we change the mass of that object from one to, uh, from from one to three knots, and we find that as the mass ratio increases, both the stop angles and the time needed increases. And also, we change the the, the mass of the heavy object, and the mass ratio is changing from two. 2 to 4 from 2 to 8. And we have seen that in our, in our experiment, we have many failures. And we summarize this failure to three kinds of failure. The first one is that. We can see that the heavy object always moves down, and the velocity is always along the string down, so that the heavy stop cannot stop. We regard this this phenomenon as fail. And the second kind of failure. We can see that the light object stuck on the roll. 
But according to the Mathematica, we can find the velocity of the heavy object is all the way down. But because the, the light object is stuck on the road, it will introduce another normal force here so that it, it, this phenomenon does not apply to our equation. So we regard this phenomenon as fail. And the third kind of failure. This time the light object hits the, left, the road and rebound, leading to the failure. And we can see that according to the Mathematica, the, <coughs> the, 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 the heavy objects indeed stop here. Here the velocity is zero. It, it means that the heavy, heavy objects stop. But because or not because the effect of rebounds, so that the heavy objects cannot stop here. And in our experiment, we have many errors. The first error is the apple slow motion is 240 frames per second. And the time accuracy here is 1 over 240 seconds. And the tracker angle accuracy is 0 0.1 degrees. And the string length accuracy is 0 0.1 millimeters. And the initial release angle accuracy is 1 degrees. And the error spot has this well, has little angle during the rotations, leading to the unavoidable error. And my conclusion is that we use Mathematica to use integration to find the better answer of the equation. And we also we change the string length, the resistance angle, and the mass ratio to do our experiment. And we find that the most relative error is from 7% uh, to minus 7%. It means that our zero coincides with our experiments. And, uh, and also analyze the fluctuating phenomena and the reason for experiment failure, sex for listening.